Hi guys! So today I'm going to talk about certain products that I've recently started and if you feel like there are some jingle bells or the the bells are jingling, it's my it's my jacket. So it's a little annoying. Um, thank you for bearing with me. So um, I want to talk about certain products that I've recently opened and kind of talk about them um, a little bit more in depth. Now, I went and picked them all up and let us go through um i've opened two masks uh, from bt cosmetics and this one is the super hyaluron mask and this is the seeker care um seeker capsule mask and they come like this very um individually packed and uh, you you take one of these and it's not jam or it's not butter it's a blob of the mask uh, of um, seven and a half grams in particular and uh, you can take it with you if you're traveling now a lot of people will be like oh this is environmentally uh, unfriendly and I agree it's a little bit more wasteful but um, when you travel this might be convenient and this this one is a greenish obviously because it's Sika and this one is a more blue version um, the hyaluron kind of hydrating let's see comes like that and it's a white one and um, inside is a blue like avatar blue uh, mask so um, yeah once I have probably used like five or six I probably will review both of them and uh, I'm quite excited and I will be saving the rest you know for the time when I am actually physically traveling because right now I'm only traveling in my in my head another um, product that I recently opened is the Cores uh, Hydro Bomb uh, no not Hydro Bomb Hydro Biome mask and I'm just trying to find the English one because it's in Greek and in then in French, but it's a probiotic super dose face mask with real Greek yogurt. Now, Chorus, Chorus uh, is a Greek brand, and the mask looks like this. Uh, the texture is quite similar in a way to the fresh black tea mask. Now, this is my second one, so I have already reviewed it and um, I'm just using it. But when you use it, um, I, I like it, it's very nutritious, uh, my skin enjoys it, although it doesn't really see, you know, immediate um, benefits, but that's kind of like the thing with um, these types of nutritious masks, that they provide more long-term benefit, it's like with peptides, um, and it does tingle a little bit upon application, and then after 10 seconds it stops, so just so you know, the tingling, but this one is normal. Now... What I've recently opened is recently as yesterday and I'm very proud to be uh, finally using the Evi Technologies uh, sunscreen. This is the Daily UV Face Mousse and it comes like a foam, like a very, very thick foam as well. This is the SPF 30 for the face. They also have the SPF 50, which I also have. And um, it's, it's different. The experience, like the smell of it, um, because it comes in through like a foam, um, you, you do have this weird smell for like a second, but then it kind of, um, yeah, it works fine. And I think this one can be, you don't need to reapply it every six, no, every, wait, you don't need to reapply it every two hours. I believe this one was okay to reapply every six hours. Um, in particular because they've done some studies um, recently as well like extra studies and it's made in Sweden we are in Sweden I am in Sweden I'm a Swedish citizen and we are proudly supporting a Swedish brand now I hope that it's actually good I hope that I mean I know that it actually according to the tests it passed all the tests etc so it is doing what it's supposed to but the application is weird like it does take me actually longer than with a normal cream because with a cream I just put it on my head like like do like that do like that you know this one I just like put the foam and then bit by bit bit by bit you know put it work it in but it it works in fine it has a more moisturizing look to it but it works in fine I do hope that it performs well um 
one of my last cleansers that I opened was the Medicaid one, uh, like this. And this is the Surface Radiance Cleanse, the Resurfacing AHA BHA Cleansing Gel. It really is a more thicker gel. It's like a, yeah, a thick gel. And um, I prefer it in the morning, but not when I'm actually retinoling, you know, with a retinol, the skin is sensitive. And this one might not be the best uh, with a bit already sensitive skin to apply AHA or BHA on it. So, um, yeah, this is more probably good for oily skins for um, summers, you know, when you're producing more oil as well. So that extra level of quick um, exfoliation, chemical exfoliation might be... It also has mandelic acid, salicylic acid, but just so you know, just reading it off. Um, lactic acid. My skin and lactic acid do not really get along. Uh, lactic acid 10% burns my skin like hell so then I have to like spend a whole week after that trying to fix it uh, so it desensitizes it but it, it's not bad um, but I'm not sure it's for like even normal skins probably wouldn't need it it's probably not for your everyday use but in comparison to the skin surticals um, AHA was it cleanser that stung my eyes this one doesn't really sting so that's very nice just so you know a serum I have recently started is the Brain Green Artemisia Calming Intensive Serum it would be nice if it actually like that it's on a slightly thicker side of a serum um, kind of um, this mugwort beigey color it smells like mugwort which is really nice you can you can see, I was hoping, you can see that it's it's a little bit more like a jelly, a gel kind of serum. Really nice, uh, water-based, and sinks in relatively quickly as well. Has this very, very distinct herbal uh, mugwort scent. Uh, I really enjoy these types of scents, personally. Really, really enjoy it, but keep that in mind if you are not a big fan. Then for lips my friend tanya from canada this is this is a i finally started using it the indeed labs hydrolon uh, plus volumizing lip treatment now i don't think it's really a treatment i mean i don't know like it hydrates and nourishes it's um it's like even thicker than the marlin and goats lip moisturizer so it's really thick but it's not uncomfortably uh, thick so it's still comfortable and really enjoyable uh, it doesn't have any um, menthol you know eucalyptus kind of stuff you know that just uh, kind of plumps your uh, you know lips unnaturally so it doesn't really do that it just like uh, plumps it in terms of hyaluronic acid and kind of makes it look more moisturized uh, so yeah uh, quite enjoyable a really kind of basic more basic product but enjoyable nonetheless so I have nothing negative to say about it um, yet maybe apart from the price the price was a little bit on a higher side um, I started with my finally the Neogen wine peels and I was actually surprised because they don't smell like wine they smell like the Asian grape scent uh, and that was my favorite when I was growing up in Japan I had to have always grape jelly, you know, the wobbly jellies. I had to have grape candy. I have to... Oh. Bring me to Japan, please. Oh, so good. So good. Now, let me see if I can pull out one. Um, there are actually just 30 of them in here. And the, you can see there are... They, they have like a pocket. So you can put your fingers in it like that and one side is um like with thick textured and the other side is more like i don't know if you can see it can you see it like like um it's like a cotton it's not really cotton um but it's not a soft material it's actually more scrubby than the other um worry not um th these are the old versions like they have recently reformulated so you don't need to rinse them anymore 
keep that in mind this is the old one that you have to like you have to do it on your face and then rinse now you don't have to do it just on your face you can do it all over your body uh, and then rinse off in the shower as well and this is what i've been doing i have been actually using them on my body for a chemical exfoliation of my legs of my tummy of my I'm not gonna go into all the details but of my body I will try them on my face as well just to see what it's all about um, I prefer a leave on um, chemical exfoliations quite frankly because they actually sink into your skin so um, yeah but not bad uh, at least for the for the few times I've tried <laughs> not bad on my body uh, my body feels smooth after it and last but not least, and um, this is the Espa This is the Espa uh, Pink Hair and Sculpt Mud This is a, a sculpt treatment, so to say And um, it looks like a normal pink clay mask um, Light pink and um, you take a little bit and you part your hair and really work it into your uh, hair, uh, into your scalp and then leave it for like 40 minutes. I normally leave it for 40 minutes uh, to an hour uh, in a shower cap. So I look ridiculous for that hour and no one can see me. Thank you very much. And um, yeah, so then I rinse it off, then I shampoo and then I do conditioner. So basically what this one does is actually without using scrub particles so not physical exfoliation it's more like a mud chemical exfoliation so more gentle exfoliation but i've also noticed that my hair my scalp is uh, staying fresher for at least half a day to a day longer which is really nice so it does do something and i was really happy about that so those are kind of like the um items that i've started recently um and uh, apart from the microbiome um, mask from chorus everything else is new so all of that will be officially reviewed but the chorus one is already reviewed on my blog and on my um first uh, instagram channel that i no longer use and uh yeah that's about it that's all thank you very much for watching uh, and if you like this video give it a thumbs up really appreciate that um give me a follow give me a message whatever you can give me it's fine um if you have nothing to give just give me a smile so that's all good uh, take care and bye bye